سری بازی گیرز یا سری بازی هیلو چیزی که همیشه مردم دوست داشتن بدونن کدوم میبره کدوم بهتره چون هر کدوم گیم پلی خاص خودشو داره گرافیک خاص خودشو داره داستان خاص خودشو داره ما اینجا این موارد رو با هم بررسی میکنیم و یه بار برای همیشه به این موضوع پاسخ میدیم بعد از یه اینترو هفت ثانیه ای با هم خواهیم بود گرافیک اولین چیزی که به چش هر بازی کنی میاد گرافیک بازیه صرف نظر از اینکه چقدر تجربه بازی دارین یا طرفدار کدوم یکی از این بازی ها هستید هر دوی این بازی ها گرافیک خوبی داره فرقی نمیکنه که روی دستگاه های نسل نهمی ماکروسافت یا روی دستگاه های نسل هشتمی ماکروسافت بازی میکنید بهترین کیفیت رو از اون بازی روی اون دستگاه میبینید چون سازنده این بازی تمام توانش رو به کار برده و از تمام کیفیت دستگاه و قدرت دستگاه داره استفاده میکنه پس در این بخش عملا هیچ پرنده این نداریم و همه اونها با هم برابر هستن گیمپلی گیمپلی هر دو بازی در طول سالها توسعه پیشرفت تغییر زیادی داشته اما سری بازی گیرز تونسته با حفظ از هسته اصلی بازی نوآوری های به بازی اضافه کنه و همچنان به اصل گیمپلی وفادار بمونه ولی هی بازی هیلو به مرور زمان از اصل گیمپلی خودش دور شده مثلا مثل اضافه کردن عناصر RPG که شما بتونید کاراکتر رو توش تقویت کنید توی این بخش به دلیل اینکه گیرز هسته اصلی بازی رو حفظ کرده همونطور که گفتم و هیلو متاسفانه از اصل گیمپلی دور شده بازی گیرز آفار برنده است Oh, my God. 
Taking position in the streets. Requesting assistance. Roger, Control. We're on it. This is Centaur 2-3. Establishing position outside of the hospital. داستان بازی داستان توی هر دوی بازی یه مسیر کاملا جداگانه رو طی میکنه و در عین حال رکن اصلی بازی رو هم تشکیل میده هر دوی بازی ها داستان آینده نگرانه ای دارن و پیچیدگی های خاص خودشون رو هم دارن بازی گیرز در مورد موجوداتی به نام لوکست هست و در سیاره سرا جریان داره این موجودات در واقع جونورهای آزمایشگاهی هستند که توسط یک سری دانشمند برای جنگ و فرمان برداری طراحی شدند. بازی هیلو در مورد مسچی و هوش مصنوعی معروف اون کورتانا هست و در کهکشان جریان داره. در مورد موجوداتی به اسم کاونند و بعدن دشمنای به اسم دایدکت هم در بازی اضافه میشن. لوکیشن شما توی هر نسخه از بازی هیلو با قبلی فرق میکنه. توی این بخش هم هر دو عالی عمل میکنن و عملا برنده ای نداریم. The emulsion minus children provided a marvelous genetic repository as did the indigenous creatures of the hollow. In all of your genetic research, it's in here? Of course. Oh shit. Hey, hey, Jack, Jack, come here. I need you to download everything off this terminal. Oh man. I don't think I want to know what any of these file names mean. But when the extent of one very special child's genetic immunity to emotion became clear, our work began to soar. Please, go ahead. That, of course, is Mira, or as you know her, Queen Mira. 
You bred her with the sires? Nothing so monstrous. Her stem cells, however, were delightfully complementary to sire DNA. But we underestimated so much. Young Mira's strong maternal feelings, for instance. Let me guess. She led her children to slaughter you all. No, no, no. Well, yes. But I meant her more traditional maternal feelings. For her daughter. Little Raina. Your mother. What? You're lying. I am not. Your mother was born here, and taken from us by her spineless father, thus causing young Mira's unfortunate rebellion. Why are you telling me this? You have so many gifts, you do not yet understand. Hey, what's going on? He will kill you if he knows. They all will. What did you just say? Hey, hey, what are you... Why did you come here with me? What did J.D. tell you? Kate, I am not going to hurt you. No? Maybe you should. Or maybe I should. Hey. That would indeed sever the link between you and the Locust. Now shut up! I won't let them do to me what they did to my mother. Your mother? And what did they do to your mother? In the hive. They changed her. It killed her. I killed him. But that is the process that allows them to learn, to grow. Without a queen, they remain unguided. See? See? I'm a weapon. No. You're not. Back in the village, when I was inside that snatcher, I was controlling them. What? I think I killed Oscar. Wait a minute. It... You think? Or you did? I don't know. I don't know. I just... I want it out of my head. I want it to stop. Okay. And you're gonna stop it. And if I do not? Then we delete you and destroy every bit of your precious research. Then please, allow me to assist you. Infinity, this is Sierra 117 of the UNSC Forward Unto Dawn. Do you copy? Infinity, do you read? Chief? Chief, let go of the contacts. Find us an exit. Don't wait around on my account! Even these beasts recognize what you were oblivious to, human. Your nobility has blinded you, as ever. The librarian left little to chance, didn't she? Turning my own guardians, my own world, 
against me. But what hubris to believe she could protect her pets from me forever. If you haven't mastered even these primitives, then man has not attained the mantle. Your ascendants may yet be prevented. Time was your ally, human. But now it has abandoned you. The foreigners have returned. This tomb is now yours. Chief, move! سخن آخر مشخص کردن اینکه کدوم یکی از این بازی ها برنده این رقابته واقعا کار سختیه هر دو سورپرایز هایی توی آسین دارن تا طرف داره دو آتیشاشون یا کسایی که برای بار اولی که هر کدوم این بازی ها رو بازی میکنن رو سر شوق بیارن انتخاب این مورد کاملا سلیقه یه با اینکه ممکنه هر کس سلیقه متفاوتی داشته باشه یا یه بازی توی یه بخش امتیاز بیشتری بیاره توی یه بخش امتیاز کمتری بیاره هر دو تا بازی کاملا مساوی عمل میکنن و عملا برنده ای هم در این بخش نداریم پس به نظر من و با توجه به مواردی که گفته شده هر دو بازی برنده هستن She'll be back. I know. But not if we find her first. In this hour of victory, we taste only defeat. I ask why. We are foreigners, guardians of all that exists. The roots of the galaxy have grown deep under our careful tending. Where there is life, the wisdom of our countless generations has saturated the soil. Our strength is a luminous sun towards which all intelligence blossoms. And the impervious shelter beneath which it has prospered.
I stand before you, accused of the sin of ensuring foreigner ascendancy, of attempting to save us from this fate where we are forced to recede. Humanity stands as the greatest threat in the galaxy. Refusing to eradicate them is a fool's gambit. We squander eons in the darkness while they seize our triumphs for their own. The mantle of responsibility for all things belongs to forerunners alone. Think of my acts as you will, but do not doubt the reality. The reclamation has already begun, and we are hopeless to stop it.